this is Rap the News. Most Christians believe that all they have to do is confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and that he died on the cross of Calvary and rose in three days to be saved. But once you get suckered into that, then the false religion is going to require that you give more blood, that you do more than 20 other things to get into heaven, and most people ain't going to read or do any of that. They're just going to say, I believe that Jesus Christ died as Lord and Savior, and he died on a cross of Calvary and rose in three days. I say the magic words, uh, uh, bibbidi bobbidi boo and, and, and I'm into heaven. I'm going to ask a simple question because these Christians are non-thinking people. How come if God don't change and Jesus don't change, how come Adam and Eve didn't learn those simple words and get into heaven? How come Adam and Eve couldn't go through Christ? That's what I thought. How come the children of Israel, when they went through all that hell in Egypt, and all this hell in America, and all the hell in wandering in the desert for 40 years, and all the hell throughout the European nations before, how come they can say bibbidi bobbidi boo and get in? Who and what changed and when did they change to give everybody some easy way to get into heaven by saying some magic words without doing anything? They said, oh, you're saved by grace. You don't have to do anything. But you sitting there being told that you have to believe. So how in the hell are you going to be saved by grace? And then here's the other 22 things. We're going to start with number one. John 5, 24, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my words and believe on him that sent me has everlasting life. So now you got to believe Jesus' words and believe on Jesus. Not believe in Jesus. Believe on him. This is idiotic. The insanity drives me crazy, you guys. John six forty seven. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Not thus says the Lord, I'm telling you, he that believeth on me has everlasting life. So you believe it on Jesus, right? But the first one said you have to hear the word. And now you got to believe on Jesus. So here, watch. Romans 10, 13. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So do I bypass these two? Or do I have to do all three? Uh-huh. Now I got to call on the name of the Lord. Believe on Jesus and hear his word. So there's three things I got to do. Watch this. This is looking bleak up here. All I have to do is confess. All I got to do is say the magic words, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Well, right now we're doing three things to get in. Plus saying bibbidi bobbidi boo, right? Watch. Number four. John 3, number 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, not thus says the Lord, because we, so, we only supposed to be worshiping the Most High God according to Jesus Christ. Worship God only and serve him. Worship and serve God only. Worship God alone, says Jesus Christ. The Son of Man did not come to be served. But he telling you something that he said instead of God said. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So now you got to be born again. Now you got to figure out how to hear Jesus' words. And what is he saying? How to believe on Jesus. You got to call. You got to remember to call on his name to be saved. You got to believe that he died on the cross of Calvary. You got to believe that he rose in three days. You got to confess that name. And now you got to be born again. Oh, damn, 5, Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Now we confess him with our mouth and we believe in our heart. Now this got to go into our heart. But we say by grace, you don't got to do nothing. You ain't got to do nothing. You say by grace. That you saved by grace, then why didn't we need to confess that Jesus died on the cross? 
that we ain't got to do nothing and ain't no works, why are we wasting our, our breath saying Jesus died on the cross then? Their religion is silly and they insane, just like their religion. Matthew 19, 24. And again I say unto you, it is easy for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. Now you got to lose all your money. Oh, I got an idea. Give it to the church. They're going to idea. All they're doing is screwing you over anyway out of your salvation. Because you ain't got to do all this shit. According to the Bible, I'm going to show you, like I said, how to bypass Jesus Christ and get into the, into the kingdom without having to go through Christ, says the Bible. So we're reading this silliness right now. So now you got to be broke to enter into the kingdom. Because verily I say unto you again, not thus says the Lord, it's easy for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. A camel will never go through the eye of a needle. So a rich man ain't getting into the kingdom. Even if he believed that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. Oh damn, seven things. Matthew 16, 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Now you got to be born again, baptized. Damn. You can't be rich. What else we got to do up here and shit? We got to accept. What is that? Born again, baptized. Call on the name. Believe on him. Believe in him. <laughs> believe out of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh God oh it's more to this baptism John 3 5 Jesus answered verily verily I say unto him are you but not thus says the Lord except a man be born of water huh get that bitch in the tub you got to be born of water and of the spirit oh damn now you got to have a damn you got to be born with the spirit and out of water. You got to be like Aquaman and shit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. So now motherfucker got to sit here. 3,000 years after Christ. And figure out how the hell. You're going to be born of water. Because ain't nobody really teaching the truth. Well this is how you're going to be born of water. Uh, We're going to dip your ass in. It's called the baptism. When nobody before in the Old Testament ever baptized anybody and was saved without doing all this shit. But God don't never change. Now you got to do all this funny duddy shit. Now you got to be born of water and of the spirit. Two more motherfucking things you got to do. Or you ain't entering into heaven. Oh, let's carry on Christians because y'all retarded. Matthew 19:17. But that's y'all want eternal, eternal life. Keep the commandments. What commandments? He talking about the commandments of God. Now he telling you you got to go by the whole Old Testament. Because what else did the book say? Uh, when the Gentiles don't obey the Old Testament, they will be destroyed. Sin itself is not transgressing the Bible. It's transgressing the law or the commandments of the Old Testament. That's what sin is. That's who sinners are. People who don't believe in the Old Testament. So, if, if, if you can't be a sinner, I mean, bypass the Old Testament, or you ain't getting into the kingdom. See how it all contradicts itself, and you're going to say, I'm twisting it, but can we all just open up these verses and read them for ourselves? Ain't that what we doing right here? They want me to put the whole Bible down. Oh, you got to put the whole Bible down in there to put it into context. Context, Raptor knows. It's context, you bitch. And we ain't got to put the whole damn Bible. It's straight up saying, if you want eternal life, keep the commandments. You don't have to put that into context. It's already in context. Luke 18, 17. Verily I say unto you, not thus says the Lord, whosoever, not, who shall, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child. And here you're a grown-ass motherfucker already born now you got to be baptized and born again and, uh, and of, of the water and the other spirit, uh, believing in Jesus, believing that he died and rose three. All this shit you got to remember or you ain't getting in. How many Christians got notes? 
please take some notes. Y'all really strong ass Christians. Y'all got to go through all this shit. But you say by grace, you dumb bitches. So, uh, do we bypass all these words and commandments of Christ? He that loves me keeps my commandments. If you love not me, then you love not the Father. Then we ain't letting your ass in. Whoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no ways enter into the kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> God, God. <laughs> Let me in, Jesus. <laughs> I need a ninny in my mouth. Matthew 5.20 Ain't this some silly ass goddamn shit man God, Matthew 5.20 For I say I say unto you Not thus says the Lord That's where y'all went wrong That except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees You shall no, in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven Damn, now let's go find out who all the scribes and Pharisees was and what was the level of their knowledge. Now let's go to the Pope and get the Pope to climb to the, climb to the heaven on a golden rope to raise all the Pharisees from the dead so they can make a fresh painting of my fucking head. Now we got to revive the fucking dead to figure out what their level of knowledge is or else we ain't getting into the kingdom. But they try to hang you this bullshit up here. You just got to believe that Christ is Lord and Savior. And he died on the cross of cavity and, and cavities and rose in three days. Bullshit. And in the well do they know it. And then when you get in the church. Now they telling you all this shit. 22 motherfucking things to do. That you couldn't possibly do. They telling your ass you ain't getting in. How you gonna turn into the baby? How you gonna really be born over again? Are we supposed to take this literal or not literal? Because if you ain't taking literally, why should we take it at all? Matthew 7 21. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, God damn, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But now you gotta do the will of the Father that's in heaven. Now we gotta go figure out what the will of the Father is. So let's open up the New Testament and find out everything God wants us to do or else we ain't getting in, says Christ. Because you do got to obey Christ's commandments, but you're saved by grace and not by works. So that's stupid all in itself. You should know that the Bible was tampered with. You should know that it's contradicting itself and it's infiltrated. You should know this some silly ass shit. But you motherfuckers want to keep going on with it, don't you? Because they insane. They want a little free fucking ticket ride. When he, you should know that Adam and Eve had to pay for it. They was cursed. She had to fucking go through birth pains and things that she didn't have to go through before. And a man had to work by the sweat of his brow. And a snake had to crawl out on his fucking bedding, belly for fucking uh, going against the most high God. Jesus wasn't there. God damn it. And they know Jesus wasn't there. Jesus didn't tell the snake to crawl out. Jesus don't even know the hour. He don't know the season of the fucking fig tree. He don't even know what ass he came out yesterday. Y'all ain't gonna tell me to believe in some sissy ass motherfucker bleeding on a cross, uh, cross and, and, and beat up by the fucking Romans, abused by the damn Hebrews, and say this is your God, you ignorant motherfuckers, man. And now I got all these goddamn silly ass things to do. Luke 13, 3, I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall also likewise perish. You ain't getting in. Now we got to repent. But you got suckered in with that Jesus rose and died and I believe it on the Lord. And they don't believe shit because they out there sinning, being homosexual and everything else. They doing everything under the damn sun. And they, they, they ain't even reading the book and the book is saying you can't fucking sin if you're going to get in. You dumbasses. You got that fucking, uh, fucking chipmunk looking motherfucker. What's his name? A little white motherfucker with the curly hair. 
Talking about the wackadoodle family and shit. You fucking faggot. Matthew 18.3 And said, Verily I say unto you, Except you be converted. Oh, damn. We got to get converted, y'all. And become as little children. See, we got to enter in as a talk like a child. Now we got to be converted into a child in order to get into the kingdom. 14 damn things. Besides believing that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, huh? John 6, 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Not thus says the Lord, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man. Somebody dig Jesus up. We got to eat. And drink his blood. Somebody climb back to heaven on the, uh, get the Pope to climb to the heaven on the golden rope. To ask the Lord to raise Jesus from the dead. So we can eat his head and drink his blood. You have no life in you. You just dead if you don't eat me. Eat me. <laughs> eat me. John 10 9. I am the door. By me if any man enter he shall be saved. Now we got to find the Jesus door. We got to find the Jesus door to be saved. They're going to be like, oh, you're trying to make it silly. This is, if you ain't got no fucking sense, this is some stupid ass shit. This is some stupid ass shit. Some retarded, eat me and drink me. That's how you're going to have some life. Turn into a little kid. Now watch your little asses come out your mama's pussy again. You got to be born again, motherfucker. John 12, 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. Now you got to hate your damn life. Now you got to pretend like you hate this motherfucker. I hate this motherfucking life. I hate this life that God gave me. I hate it. Don't you know this is of the devil? Y'all don't know this is of the devil. 1 Corinthians 6, 9. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not enter into the kingdom of God. Now you got to be righteous. Be not deceived. You can't fornicate. You can't idolate. You can't be an adulteress. You can't be gay acting. Nor abusers of yourself with mankind. Or your ass ain't getting in. Fuck Jesus died on the Calvary. If you doing some sin. You ain't getting in. If you doing these sins. You ain't getting in. How many effeminate motherfuckers sitting there believing in Christ. Taking it up the ass and shit. And licking all kind of ass. And I'm just being real. We got to be real with each other, man. 1 Corinthians 15, 50. Now I say unto you, damn, 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 damn. Brother, that the flesh and blood can enter into the kingdom. Now you can't get in as human. Do you know Gentiles ain't born with the spirit? They are flesh and blood. According to the Bible, it's telling you that Gentiles don't get into the kingdom. And I swear to you, that's what it's saying to you. It's telling you that Gentiles don't get in. But look at that. They the main motherfuckers believing in this bullshit, huh? Thinking that somebody came to the damn Gentiles to say they wicked asses. Galatians 5.21. Envying now. Murderers. How many people have envied somebody with some money or a bigger dick or some bigger titties than ass? How many people have envied somebody? Murdered somebody? How many people have been drunk? How many people reveled? How many, and like such, which I tell you before, in, in, in times of the past. Everybody who do such things don't enter the kingdom of God. Damn. And then Jesus said, uh, it said you can't get in as a doctor, freaking fornicator, right there. And Jesus already told you that if you look at a woman, then you already committed fornication with her. <laughs> if you looked at a woman and you lusted her, how the hell are you going to get a wife? <laughs> you know what I mean? We ain't supposed to pick our wives by lust anyway. We're supposed to pick them by belief. Ephesians 5, number 5. For this you know. No whoremonger. What's a whoremonger? Somebody that sleep around. Ain't this what this new generation is doing? No unclean person. Go take a bath. Did y'all know that unclean is inside and out? That if you put a piece of pork in your mouth, you unclean? Do you know unclean if you touch a dead body? Do you know it's unclean if you're a wounder woman on her periods? Do you know it's unclean if that woman cook your dinner? 
Do you know it's unclean if you touch a Gentile and a Gentile touch you? Do you know you become unclean according to the law of God? That you're supposed to keep these commandments in order to get in according to what we're reading right now? Nor cover this man, no idolater, has any inheritance into the kingdom of Christ and God. You notice that they always put Christ before God. You ever notice that they always put Christ before God? In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. See, the word is supposed to be Christ. And the word was supposed to become flesh. But the father was over there. So in the beginning, Jesus was there before God. And God was just with Jesus. You ain't understand what it's saying. But somehow... This silly ass motherfucker that's supposed to be the first and the last, the Alpha and Omega, has to pray and don't even know the time and date. And y'all believing in this bullshit. Ephesians, this is 22 motherfucking things later. Ephesians 2 8, for by grace are you saved through faith. Huh? What about all the rest of this bullshit? And, and now you got Christians just going by that. You going got Christians just going by this up here, confessing that Jesus, that's all they know. The average Christian, this is this is as far as their Christianity goes, right there. There was a bloody white man on the cross in the eighteenth century pamper, you know, all beat up and tattered and shit, and he died. They don't even know where he died at. They don't care where he died. All they want to do is say a, ma a couple of magical words of a, a this spell book called the gospel. And, and, and trick they self into thinking they're getting into heaven. And then you got 22 motherfucking things that say you ain't getting into heaven. Unless you do these 22 things. And it's going to end on the 22nd thing. And tell you that you say by grace and not by works through faith. You ain't got to do nothing. It's just if God feel like saving you or if he don't feel like saving you. Some wicked ass shit. And, and, and with all that shit. All the Christian camps and all the Christian communities and all the, and that's why so many so much division because it's some silly ass shit and all these people doing is picking little parts of, of the Bible that they want to believe in and they bypassing the rest. How to bypass Christ and get into heaven? Let's find out. Matthew five three. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So now all you gotta do is be poor in the spirit. Anybody telling you that you have to believe in Christ in order to get in, that you got to go to the Son to get to the Father to get in, is a goddamn lie, according to Matthew 5, number 3. I'll say it again, a goddamn lie. All you got to do is be poor in your spirit. Find out how to do that, huh? Matthew 5, 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So now all you got to do is be per persecuted doing something right. I was trying to do something right and I got persecuted. I, I got a free pass in God. I don't have to go through God. I don't have to go through Christ. All I have to do is get persecuted. Doing something right. And then the Torah. No righteousness is obeying the commandments. And then the, the gospel. No righteousness is believing on Jesus. That's the only righteous thing you could do. And accept him as Lord and Savior. And wash your booties in the waters of Zamzam. And then turn and do a flip. And then climb up to Mount Manitoka and shit. And purify ourselves in the water of Mount Manitoka. And then dive off of the motherboard. All this shit you got to do, huh? Matthew 519. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. And shall teach it to men. He shall be called least in the kingdom. But whosoever shall teach the commandments to men, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So all I got to do now is just teach the commandments. All I got to do is be persecuted. All I got to do is just be poor in my spirit. And I get right in. It's a, it's a free pass. Luke 6.20 And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and he said, Blessed be you poor, for yours is the kingdom. Blessed be you poor, so now I got to do, see, a rich man can't get in. Everybody, you know, give your money to the churches. You're blessed. You're going to get into heaven for just being poor. Give all of it to the church. You know, 
You can't give it to people because if you give money to people, then they ain't going to be able to get in. You got to give it to the church. Let the church and the Pope be rich. Blessed be the poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. So I want, uh, please, somebody, if, if, please do a video on this. Please take, blessed are the poor in spirit, They're, they go into heaven. Those who are persecute, persecuted, they go into heaven. Uh, those who uh, teach the commandments to men, they go into heaven. Those who are poor, they go into heaven. Please go to these camps and all these places saying that you got to accept Jesus Christ. Somebody go over there to Christ forgiveness. Somebody go over there to truth unedited and, and teach these fucking silly bastards. And make a mockery of this shit because it is a mockery. Somebody go and tell them that you don't have to be saved by Christ because we got the answers right here. All we got to do is be poor. Matthew 24, 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So all you got to do is just survive to the end. Somebody go over there and tell Pastor Dow and when the watchman reports, and all these damn other people talking about saved by works and saved by grace and saved by Jesus on Calvary. Somebody tell Tiny Tim over there. Somebody tell Paul Bagley's wicked, lying ass, greedy ass something. You know, while everybody trying to get money and be rich. <laughs> this is some sick shit, man. And he shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So somebody tell you, you don't have to go through Jesus Christ. We got five ways already telling us that we don't have to go through Jesus Christ here. Acts 11. Where we at? Acts 11, 14. Who shall tell these words, whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved. So somebody tell us, say, the, say, say these words. Say these words. Just go to them and say these three words. These words. And then you and your house are going to be saved. I don't know about the people in the house, but I know the house is going to be saved. <laughs> Romans 8.24, well, I skip one. For we are saved by hope. <laughs> we saved by grace. We saved by the little lamb and the engine that could. 1 Corinthians 3.15 If any man's work shall be burned he shall have suffered loss but he himself shall be saved yet so as by fire. Somebody set yourself on fire so you can be saved. <laughs> Somebody set yourself on fire so you can be saved. That's what this book telling us. We're going to be saved by fire but if my works be burnt that's okay. Come on. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> this is some bullshit. This is why they don't come over here, man. This is why they don't preach that salvation shit to me, man. Come on, man. This is some shit. Oh, damn. We got one more right here. It was high. This is actually number nine. Uh, Romans eleven twenty six, And so all of Israel shall be saved. <laughs> As it is written. All of Israel going to be saved. You ain't got to do shit. You're just going to be saved. It's already wrote. You know, and where's the road at? In, in the commandments. It says, all of Israel shall be saved by everlasting salvation. And everlasting salvation. What the fizzuck do we need Christ for then if we black? This is Rap the News. <laughs>